Good morning, everybody. The Rev here. It's time for a cup of coffee with Jesus. Good T3 Roasters from, uh, I think this is 601 from Collinsville, Oklahoma. T3 Roasters, look them up. They make some good coffee. For some reason, it always tastes better at the coffee shop than it does when you make it in your coffee pot at home. Go figure. Water, temperature, who knows? But I just know sometimes it's better there. I was reading in the Word this morning. This is a, a scripture that I, I read quite often because uh, it, it's how I feel that we are supposed to be towards one another. Uh, it's our job as the church. You're at your job and my job. It's to be this person to each other in the church. And it's to encourage and to remind them that what's in them. That's our job is to remind them what's in them. And this is in uh, uh, 2 Timothy 1. It's verse 6. And uh, Paul, this is the Passion Translation this morning. It says, I'm writing to encourage you to fan into a flame and rekindle the fire of the spiritual gift God imparted to you when I laid my hands upon you. For God will never give you the spirit of fear, but the Holy Spirit who gives you mighty power, love, and self-control. That's what God gives you. Mighty power, love, and self-control. Never the spirit of fear. If fear is coming upon you, that's not from God, I promise you. But I, uh, I love this here because uh, earlier in this chapter, uh, Paul's writing, he said, man, I know what was in your grandmother. I know what was in your mother. I know those came down through you. And I know the power that was imparted in you when I prayed and laid my hands upon you and what shifted in you. And I saw, Paul is saying, I saw the evidence of that. I know it with everything in me. And I'm just writing to you to encourage you to fan that flame. You know, I, I, I heard a, a pastor one time. It was Bill Johnson. He was, uh, it's a forward in a book that he wrote. And he was uh, talking about a revival that he went to. And he said, you know, that when he went to this revival, that uh, he got all on fire again. And he said, but you know, he found out that, you know, six, eight months later that the passion wasn't there. And the Lord told him, he said, you know, it's my job to light the fire at the altar, but it's your job as the priest to keep fanning the flame and keep that fire going. I light the altar, you keep it going. And I was just like, you know, Lord, that, that that's happens, that we get energized and filled up at, at uh, conferences and, and uh, great church meetings and prayer meetings and even times in my, by myself at home with praise and worship going on and just and, and having a moment with the Lord that I was like, oh, Lord, and, and he feels so close to me. But I, that I notice a couple months later that it's not the same. It's because I let that dwindle. The Lord never lets it dwindle. He lights the fire in me and it's my job to fan it. That's what Paul's saying here to Timothy. Fan it. Fan it. Rekindle it. Put it into a flame because I know what's in you. I hope that you know this morning that people around you know what's in you. Of course they see the bad in you. And a lot of them, people that think that that's their job is to point out the bad. But really it's our job to encourage you to bring up the good. So I'm reminding you this morning, when you get up this morning and you're looking in the mirror, look in the mirror and say, I want the opinion of Christ. And you talk to me, Lord, and you tell me what's in me so I can remember to fan that flame and can rekindle it and turn it into a fire for you. Maybe sit down with a cup of coffee this morning and just have a conversation with the Lord. Spend some time with him. Tell me what you see in me, Lord, and remind me who I am. Because no one does it better than him. I promise you. Have a good day knowing that there are people around you that are going to always point out the bad. But there are definitely people around you that know what's in you. Let them see what's in you. Think of yourself as your own Paul. Remind your own self of who you are and what's in you and fan the flame. I'll see you guys soon. And, oh, as always, remember that Jesus loves you, and I love you.
and there's absolutely nothing you can do about it. Have a great day, fan in the flame. See you soon. Goodbye.